Can we go where no one else goes? Can I know what no one else knows? Can I fall in love with no one Hello everyone, welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Moonlight by Drove. So first up, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to this person right here for suggesting this song for me to teach. Thank you very much for that. So a quick disclaimer, first I'm going to be playing this song as close and as accurate with original audio as possible. So let's play it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. But before I begin, please do not forget to subscribing the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for future videos. And if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just go and jump right into it. Okay, so before I teach you guys the chord progression that we're going to use for the entirety of this song, I'd just like to discuss with you the plucking pattern that we're going to use throughout this entire song, which is going to be this one right here. Yep, and to do this, basically it's just going to be like this. Yep, a bit slower. And to do this, basically we're going to be plucking the bass string first, which could either be the lower E string or the A string, depending on the root note of the chord that you're playing at the time, along with the D, G, and the B string, that's going to be the bass string once again, it's going to be the D, G, and the B strings all together, the last is going to be the bass string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be bass, D, G, B, bass, D, G, B, then bass. Yep, so all in all it's going to be like this. Bass D G B, bass D G B, then bass. Yep. So all in all, it's going to be like this. Yep. A bit faster. And there you have it. And with that said, that entire plucking pattern is going to be worth for 4 whole counts for each chord that you're going to play in this song. Okay, and as for the chord progression that we're going to use for the entirety of this song, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so basically to play this entire song, what we're going to use is going to be the E minor 7 first for 4 counts, then the G major 7 chord for 4 counts, then the D major 7 chord for 8 counts, repeating that entire thing for a total of 15 repetitions, then we could either end it with an E minor 7 chord or not, depending on your preference when it comes to playing this song. So first up, what we're going to do is going to play the E minor 7 chord for 4 counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, we're going to use our index finger to bar the entire 7th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be a dead string with the lower E string. It's going to be 7, 9, 7, 8, and then 7. Yep. Now with this chord being played for 4 counts, this means that we're only going to be doing our plucking pattern once. So again, bass string, which is now the A string in this case. D, G, B string, B string, D, G, B strings all together, then the bass string. Yep, so once again, it's going to be the bass string. D, G, B, bass string, D, G, B, it's going to be the bass string, which is the A string in this case. Yep, so all in all, it's going to be like this. Yep, that's four counts. Now next up is going to be the G major 7 chord for four counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, we're going to press the third fret on the lower E string, that string A string, fourth fret D string, 4th fret G string, 3rd fret B string, then another dead string in the high E string. So all in all it's going to be 3, dead string, 4, 4, 3, then another dead string. Now once again, with the same plucking pattern, but this time the bass note is now going to be the lower E string, so it's going to be like this. Yep, that's 4 counts. Then once again it's going to be the D major 7 chord for 8 counts now this time. And to do this chord, we're going to press the 5th fret on the A string, 7th fret D string, 6th fret G string, 7th fret B string, and as for the low and the high E strings, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case. Yep, now once again, same plucking pattern, it's going to be like this. But 
with this chord being played for eight counts, that means that we're going to be doing that plucking pattern twice. So again, one more, it's going to be like this. Yep. So all in all, that entire chord progression is going to sound a little bit like this. E minor 7, G major 7, and the D major 7 chord for eight counts. And it's basically like that. So once again, E minor 7 chord for 4 counts, G major 7, D major 7, one more, yep, then after that we're going to be repeating that entire thing for a total of 15 repetitions, and at the very end you could finish it all off with an E minor 7 chord, and you could do it like this, or like this. Or just not do this bit altogether. It's all up to you and your preference when it comes to playing this song anyway. And once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Can we go where no one else goes? Can I know what no one else knows? Can I fall in love when no one But if you wanted to be break it down further into their respective sections, it's going to be these ones right here. Yep. So basically for the intro section of this song, we're just going to be repeating that chord progression once. So it's just going to be like this, E minor 7 chord for 4 counts, G major 7 chord for 4 counts, it's going to be the D major 7 chord for 8 counts. And as for the verse, chorus, post-chorus, as well as the bridge sections of this song, it's just going to be this one right here. And that's basically just going to be the intro section of the song, but instead of repeating it just once, we're going to be repeating that entire thing twice. So again, E minor 7 chord for 4 counts, G major 7, it's going to be the D major 7. One more. And that's basically how to play the entirety of this song. So yeah, that's the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. I'll try to do it for you. And if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. So good, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.